Mass today is being offered for the repose of the soul of James O'Connor by Maureen Lane. Our entrance antiphon, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphath, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelfth. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh, and gave it to his people to eat. Then he left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion in my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me, even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Lord, be in my The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, 
but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Sometimes this passage is misunderstood. Uh, there are some people who, if they come to court, will not take an oath. And, and their reasoning comes from this. Jesus says, do not swear at all. But we do have to give a little bit of context to this. He's telling people to tell the truth. He doesn't want them to lie. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. If we are in him, we need to tell the truth. And we cannot uh, take an oath to get out of something, but really be lying. That would be against God's law. But as far as actually taking an oath, which is what swearing means, basically, um, when Jesus wants you to know that he is telling the truth, he says, Amen, I say to you. Or in the Gospel of John, he always says, Amen, Amen, I say to you. That is an oath formula. Um, when people uh, get married, that's an oath. Sacramentum is the Latin word for oath. So when you... <clears throat> Get married, we would say vows today, but it means taking an oath. When we baptize uh, a baby or an adult, that's taking an oath. Our, our church is full of these oaths. It doesn't mean that we should never take an oath. It means we should only take an oath when we are fully ready to be uh, completely 100% certain that what we are doing is right and true and good and that we are telling the truth. By the way, side, side uh, bar is, in Jesus' time, if you wanted people to believe you, you would say something and you would end it by saying amen. Jesus says amen before he says something. In other words, I only tell the truth. What I am saying to you is truthful. So we need to put this in the context. Uh, Jesus took oaths. St. Paul shaved his head as a sign that he had taken a vow. A uh, vow is, is an oath. So we continue to take oaths. We don't do it to get around something. We, we don't do it as, as a way to tell a lie. <clears throat> Let us bring our prayers and petitions before our Father in heaven. For the church, that we might truly be a sacrament in the world, we might be a visible sign and an instrument of God's grace, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the people in the world, that they might see the light of Christ, that they might come to him. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked our prayers, for all those who need our prayers, for those who are suffering from the coronavirus, for all those who are suffering from the effects of the pandemic, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And uh, for all those who have died, we remember especially James O'Connor, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear all our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. <clears throat> Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, <clears throat> Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, <clears throat> with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> May the, receive, oh, may the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection of mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God and his Holy Mother. <clears throat> Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat> 